Anirban, one of the popular ways of thinking about consciousness or the human mind today is a computational theory based upon, of course, computers are the latest thing, whether it's parallel processing or more sophisticated, that there's a, a, a computational theory. And, and that results in sort of a functionalist approach. If you have a computation, you can have a computation anywhere. You can do it in wet matter in our brain, you can do it in silicon, you can do it in uh, you know, plastic bottles if that would work in some way. But it's all based on the theory that the computational theory of mind is the way our minds work. Do you agree with that? First of all, the word computation, it was born in the 1910s and 1920s. And if you read the uh, writ letters written by the creators of computation word, the term as is, and the philosophy, philosophy is brilliant. It's a beautiful philosophy. So it, it suggests the, I would like to read out something from the letters of Turing. And yeah. he said that, suppose you write an argument. Argument is like, if the rain falls, you take out an um, umbrella, yeah. right? So if you write, if, if you take a piece of paper and you write the arguments, one by one, one by one, you take a scissor and you cut them and put them, we'll glue them side by side. Yeah. You get a chain. This is a Turing machine. Uh -huh. And this is the idea of computation, how it began. Uh -huh. Now, how, how can you break it? So it was my thought for a long, long period of time. So, so many people for the last 100 years, they tried to break it down, the idea of computation. And what they try to do, they try to do many different ways, but never looked at the, this particular piece of paper. If you can isolate way, isolated way, you can, if you can write an argument, and you can cut them into pieces so yeah, that yeah. they are not related to each other yeah, yeah. and then glue them then if you are always going back to the philosophy that we are we, we mankind are harnessing for the last 100 years i don't believe in it there was another letter written written at that point of time and it was written by burton russell and what was his argument is that if a lot of arguments are connected in such a way that you cannot cut with a scissor then what then whole piece of paper becomes a set of arguments interconnected with each other, uh, uh, all interconnected. If you cut it, you lose the fundamental integral co co coherence of it. So if you want to scale it up, how can you do that? You take another paper and you draw another kind of pattern of arguments. You connect them in such a way, then again you cannot cut. So paper, 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 mm. paper goes on. So there is never ending argument. Some of the arguments sometimes come up and sometimes go away. In this kind of situation, can you use the word computation? No, because it is fundamentally irreduce, irreducible to the Turing's paradigm. So it's a new birth of a new paradigm. This is what I call the computation of the nature or the computation of the universe and computation of the mind. There is never a break. The time the single cell was born in your mother's womb, you were born, the computation started and it will end when your matters will be disintegrated, you will die. So it is a single computation process, single decision making process, you never stopped. Your brain never stopped evolving. You are evolving right now when you sleep, sleep even then it will evolve, it will right. defragment all the parts of it. So it's a very different scenario and at every moment you are, you are taking decisions, you are processing information with the entire nature and universe around you. So it's a, it's a this is the computation of mind. So where you have a you have a highly interconnected chain of arguments and sometimes some of them come up. That's what I call the emergence of symphony or the, or the singer. So I, I, I suggest that from the Planck world to the entire universe, it's connected chain of vibrations. But it does not vibrate every moment. It doesn't vibrate, it remains silent. Whenever there is a process, there is a change in somewhere that reflects, that sends a, a, a small, it's just like a dropping a stone in a pond, in a silent pond, and the ripples created throughout the vibrational chain. And that is going on continuously. So that process continues. That's the computation of the mind. And is that computation that, uh, that you reject in, in the mind, is it, are you rejecting it because the, the principle of how the universe works and, and the resonances of all elements? Or are you rejecting it because the nature of the problems that mind or consciousness deal are non-computable? There's two different ways of looking at it. My answer to that would be that 
this decision that we need to go beyond the Turing is taken from the fact that one particular uh, element interacts with many, many other elements at a time. And many other elements interact with one body at a time. So it's a quantum yeah. mechanical situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When one talk to many, many talk to one. So for the last 10 years, I have been publishing papers after papers just on this particular concept. When you have one molecule, so I published in 2008 one work in which I showed that if we keep one molecule and 16 molecules around it, then what happens is that one molecule talks to all of them and the other molecules talk to them, then 4.5 billion solutions you can create, you can generate from yeah, that. Yeah. But if you keep them in a single line, just oh, like yeah, Turing yeah. suggests, yeah, yeah. you get just one decision. So it 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 fundamentally very different. Fundamentally very, very different. That's why my suggestion that the brain is non-computable or or this kind of thing has a completely different perspective. I don't want to fall into that argument uh -huh. that non-computable yeah, yeah. because non-computable has their own scientific background yeah, yeah. and histories right. and then computable those who are Turing, Turing class, right. they have their own arguments. Right. They say that they you're, will make the best. You're avoiding both of them. Yeah. I, I've heard it, I want to avoid both of yeah. them. I want to create something that does not contradict either of them. I believe that our mind or our entire body every time tries to harmonize with the nature and our immediate environment. So local rhythms or vibrations are created, which is our expression. We cannot say it, we cannot say it computation in, in any fundamental terms. So that's the reason I say that this is the computation of mind. It cannot be categorized as set of logical yeah, you know, decision making yeah, yeah, yeah. where you can put it in terms of machines. Right. So no machines can ever, ever do that. If the machine is like us, which plays with rhythms, then only that kind of computation could be like the human brain.